If you'd like to put a non-traditional symbol, let's say a division sign like this one, into a document, a computer document like Word or PowerPoint, or if you have a Mac, uh, Pages or key, Keynote, if you'd like to put a symbol like this in, the division sign, normally you just get a slash as a division sign among your characters. But if you'd like to put this one in, I made this in, Power, in uh, Photoshop, and you can use it anytime you want. Just go to this URL, mathmojo.com slash chronicles slash, and you can leave the date out. How to make a division symbol in a computer document. Sorry I made that URL so long. Anyway, go there, click on this symbol, right click on it. On a Windows machine it'll look something similar to this. This is a Mac. I'm going to save the image to, let's say, my inbox. Okay, now it's in my inbox. Now I can get rid of this uh, website, open up my PowerPoint document. Now remember, I'm using this PowerPoint on a Mac, so your interface may look a little different if you're on a, uh, I'm going to have a new presentation, if you're on a Windows machine, it may look a little different. Okay, type whatever uh, number you want. Let's say your divisor is 45 then type two spaces and your dividend is 214.62 or whatever. Then go up to the bar here. Do not insert your picture using the formatting palette. Let's assume now for the moment your formatting palette is closed. You only insert it through the menu bar. Go to picture from file then navigate. I'll be navigating, I guess, to my inbox. Uh, that's wrong. And the document was called Division Sign with Vinculum. The Vinculum is the uh, bar on the top of the Division Sign. There it is. Hit insert and now it's been inserted into your document. What you're going to want to do at this point is position it but also you're going to want to size it to fit over your dividend. So I'm going to pull this to the right which will skew this a little bit. It'll make it look a little funky but it's the best solution I've come up with so far. And I may want to widen uh, this just a bit and then drag it over and you're going to see that when I drag it over and let go of my mouse what's underneath it has vanished don't worry go to your view formatting palette now in your formatting palette under size rotation and ordering maybe different in a Windows machine I don't know but it's going to be pretty similar hit layering and then send to back and there you go. You can click anywhere else you want on the document and that stays like that. So you <laughs> have your uh, uh, dividend under your vaniculum and then just save it and do whatever you want to your document. So it's really simple. Once you've downloaded the thing, it, it's very, very simple to insert. The only thing is once it's in there and you've sent it to the back, if you click on the number, it look like the the division signs disappeared. It hasn't. Click anywhere else on the document, it'll show up again. But if you click there and you want to manipulate that sign again, you're kind of out of luck because you've sent it to the back. Now, you, there's probably a way I could send this. Oh, let's try it. Under layering, I'll send this behind it, send to back. Uh, that doesn't help. I, I don't know how to get that. Uh, division sign back once you've sent it to the back. So, what the? Oh, I guess it is back. Whoops, cancel that. It is back. When I, when I sent the box to the back before, now the box is behind, so you can't see what's under the uh, division sign again. Obviously, the way to get it back is click on the division sign, and now I can send that to the back. Now the division sign's in the back and I can't manipulate it. But if I want to manipulate it, I have to click on this box. Ah, 
No, I still can't manipulate. I must click on this box. And when I'm on the box, send the box to the back. And now the box is in the back. Of course, you see the 45 here because the division sign is not covering the 45. So now I can manipulate this again. And if I send it to the back, there we have it. But I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to go back two steps, or three steps, and I'll send this back to the back. You're going to have to play around with that. It, it seems easy when you, maybe it looks a little confusing when you look at it here. But if you play around with it, of course, anything you learn on the internet, if you don't try it yourself, you didn't really learn anything. So go ahead and try this. And you can make any symbols you want in Photoshop and do the exact same thing and stick any logos you want in any, any way you like. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to go back to mathmojo.com slash chronicles for more and more information about math and occasional weird stuff. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.